Eaton around pack. Kemp from way outside. Rebound Reggie Williams and clear playoffs for Pat. Boy, can he leap. You saw that slam that he had in game three that just rocked McNichols. Pack was only 6-2. He can climb. A good rebound and a bust out for Robert Pack. He sees Kemp, but he's got two hands and way off the ground. <laughs> caught in midair on almost a defensive back tackle in football and lands on his hip, but he's okay, apparently, as we go to Hannah Storm. Dick, Nuggets trainer Jim Gillen told me the injury to Robert Pack is a bruised left hip, but as you can see, he's in the game, and from the looks of their discussion in the huddle, Dan Issel is counting on Robert Pack to be a factor, continue to be one in this game. Dick? Now, Pack is going to be a factor. He has to stay out there while that hip is warm and the muscles are still loose, because when he sits down, that thing is going to stiffen up and tighten up. Beautiful pass by Pack to Brian Williams. Perfect assist, 10 points for Williams. Millen for three. Rebound Brian Williams, two on two break. Takes it home. That's a back. huge play by Pack against the pressure of Gill to get himself under control. And they're in. They had been stuck in a half court game without able, without the ability to get something easy. And Pack takes that one and goes all the way himself. And after a miss, Pack again in a position uh, to make something happen. Leaves it for Williams. Back along. It's a big trip for them. And right. to pull it within three. Rogers has been knocked away. Four seconds. Back has to hurry two. He counts and he is fouled. Oh my. Danielson said about Pack, he's either going to make it happen or he isn't. And against the clock, he just put his head down and said, I'm coming to the rim. I don't care who's in front. Look at the elevation and then a little change with the ball. Perkins with a foul, his third. Well, that's that leaping ability. He was, our buddy Chick Hearn would say, the elevator stopped up there on the seventh floor. Everyone else fell down to six and five, and he went up to eight and scored. But we've talked so much about the Sonic sprinting away, and we looked up there at the same advantage as it was at the half, a three-point lead for the Sonics with Pat trying to make it two. 62 to 60. Robert Pack into dunk, and Denver has the lead. Basketball with Naismith, and this was one of the original plays, give and go, and over the top. But they didn't jump that high in the beginning. Well, they couldn't because... Uh, Williams to Pack for three. Robert Pack, he's unconscious here in the second half. 18 for Pack. That is score the ball. We can win this game. He didn't know that this was going to be the guy that was going to be scoring the ball and making the threes. That is just his first pack has been brilliant today all season long. 82 games. He made six three-pointers. He has five in the playoffs. Two for three today. Never. This crowd of nearly 15,000 that has seen Seattle run up the best record in the NBA this year. Nervous now. Almost a steal by Gill. Roger Saves gets it to Williams. Pack, can he hit another three? Oh, my! Robert Pack for three. He has matched his entire season's total of trays in a five-game playoff series. Some Pack have their biggest lead, and Robert Pack's steady right hand, the difference in the game. Rodney Rogers picked up that last foul. Couldn't get the pass, and it's Peyton with Pack. And knocked away by Richie Williams. Final minute. 54 seconds remain. Kemp with Matumbo. Another block for Matumbo. 28 seconds left. So there's about five second difference in the shot and game clocks. Connick's looking to make a turnover. And the foul by Kendall Gill stops the clock with 18.7 seconds and puts Robert back on the line. Have I to lead to three or four? Hakeem Olajuwon, Mark Eaton, and Manute Bowl had blocked 29 in a five-game series. And Pack, an improbable hero. 21 points today. A couple of trays mixed in, plus his floor leadership. And he coolly drops them both.
for a four-point lead. So that puts more pressure on George Carl. It's still a Perkins shoots the two. Blocked by Brian Williams. Recovered by Gill. Eight seconds. Perkins batted back out. McMillan. Another three. Way short. That's it. McCombo embraces the ball and the unlikely upset. One of the great upsets in NBA playoff history. The Robert, your teammate, Dikembe Mutombo, laying prone on the floor in emotion. This is the biggest first round upset in NBA playoff history. Can you describe your emotions? It, it's, the emotion is, is running real high right now. We all played hard. We knew if we, we won the two at home, anything could happen in game five. And we came out, played a lot of hard. I'm just proud of all the guys. In the third quarter, you went down so hard and you bruised your left hip. But then in that timeout, the coach looked at you and it looked like he was looking to you to get the offense on track. At that point, you really took the game over. Definitely. He wanted to know if I could still go. And there's no way I was coming out the game and, and at that point. Uh, he wanted me to get get the ball, take control of the offense, and make sure we were then something every time down court. I was able to do that, and it turned out in a victory.